What is up, book addicts? It's B back with another episode of the book rant. But, you know, as I've said, I think I've said it before, um, I'm going to be using my channel to talk about other things I'm interested in, you know. Like, I've done TV, anime, and movie reviews on here, along with books and comics. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be talking a lot, a lot of books and comics, but, you know, I want to get into discussing video games too, instead of just doing live streams of them all the time. Because I love video games, They're, they bring me a lot of happiness in life, and I'm sure they do for a lot of you too. You know, I posted a video, you should go check it out, it's a little updates on the South Park game we have coming out at the end of this month. I'm pretty excited for that, I don't think it's going to be better than the last two, but... It seems reasonable. But let's talk about today. What's this video about? It's about Sweet Baby Ink. Sweet Baby Ink has been making the headlines in the gamer world. People have been calling it the whole situation, the controversy, Gamergate 2.0. They think it's like Gamergate all over again. Woke stuff. What's considered woke gang put in video games. Ideals being shoved on people who don't want it. it I do want discussions is what I mean. You know, and I want us to be able to discuss this, not just review the situation. So I welcome any and all comments as long as they're respectful. But Sweet Baby Inc., from what I've gathered, is basically a consulting company for video game developers. And they have worked on some very high-class AAA games like Spider-Man 2, which came out this year, uh, Alan Wake 2... They've worked on the God of War Ragnarok game. I think that's the one they worked on. And uh, sadly, Suicide Squad, which has just been more and more of a disappointment. Every new clip of what I see and every new headline I see. So while their track record is a little bit favorable, like they have worked on some good games, you know, despite what people said about Spider-Man 2 not being... As good as the first and other stuff. Like, if you look at all the games they worked on, they're all games that have done very well. They have sold millions of copies. So, it's not like they're a total loss. What people are getting angry about with Sweet Baby Inc. is... Well, so Sweet Baby Inc. is being called out on a Steam account for making video games woke, basically. They listed all the games Sweet Baby Inc. worked on and how they made them woke you know like woke again is basically a term that's been around this last 10 years or whatever when diversity is in video games when it's people of color lgbt characters woman leads i'm all for that i've said it before it's like just like in books and comics i'm all for diversity just give me a good freaking game let it be a great story great fun like, in Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I've been playing, I played a lot as Tifa and Aerith, and it was awesome because their storylines are awesome, their characters are awesome, and their gameplay is fun. It was fun using magic spells and Tifa's karate moves. You know, but then you have something like Suicide Squad, which was just a huge disappointment, especially since it's coming from Rocksteady, which made the freaking Arkham universe and revolutionized superhero games. So, yeah, Sweet Baby Inc. did drop the ball on that one. If they were going to consult to make things better, as they say, they definitely did not do it with Suicide Squad. You know, and they've had a couple employees like Chris Kendrick and Felix at home. They've been calling out the haters. They've been saying not to... They've been trying to tell people to report the Steam account that lists all the games that Sweet Baby Inc. works on. I think that account... As far as I know, if it's just listing the games that they work on and what they did. I think the public has the right to know information. I mean, the credits are at the end of the game anyways. You should get to know what games will work on. If the game is shown at presentations to be fun and engaging storyline, something that you would want to spend 30 to 70 bucks on, you know, the consumer is going to make that decision. That's the free market. But the attitude that Sweet Baby Inc. employees, Chris Kendrick and Felix at home, you know, I'm sure they've gotten their share of hate and everything and the other Sweet Baby Inc. employees, but they've been causing drama as well. 
I mean, Chris got suspended from Twitter for six days for posting information about the Steam Deck. You know, you can't tell people to not say that you were involved in the development of a video game. I mean, the consumers have a right to know. And again, if the game looks good, that's what's going to matter. You know, uh, Last of Us Part Two was very diverse. Spider-Man 2 had a lot of diversity. There's a whole level that has to do with Miles, Hispanic part of his neighborhood, and the music they play. I freaking love those that stuff. Those playing those games was fun. It was awesome. So I'm not totally against Sweet Baby Inc. But if you look at some of the tweets their employees have posted, you know, attacking the people who are against them, it's not very professional and it's not making them look good. It's not going to help them in the long run. What they should focus on is making better games. Like Chris Kendrick, he had to go and bash the Dragon Ball creator on how he drew characters of color all these years. You know, he decides to do that after this guy just died. After this guy just died. Bruh. Look, you are working for a company that actually has a pretty good track record. I understand there's some drama going now on the internet, but... If you guys make good games, that's all you need, okay? There's lots of people who are against woke, who are crazy, insane. They say threats. Those people are not right either, okay? Those people are not right either. If you don't like woke, and that's immediately going to turn you off for a game, you know, whatever. It's your money. But yeah, I think both sides have a lot of wrong in this situation. And by the way, the group that's showing all the Sweet Baby Ink stuff. If you want to do your own research, it's called on Steam, Sweet Baby Ink Detected. That's the group showing all the games that Sweet Baby Ink is involved in. You know, and obviously this is just a quick summary of stuff. If you guys have more and better information, which I'm sure you do, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think on this. Again, I'm all for diversity in video games and books and whatever. Just make it good. Make the story good. Make it a fun time. You know, that's all I ask about. I don't care if it has even a cheesy line or two that promotes empowerment or whatever. That's fine. As long as I'm getting my money's worth and it's fun. And the story's awesome. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Post it in the comments below. Peace out, everyone.